someone is a little sleepy to be out here working. She has decided that she would rather just hang out and let me brush and scrub and love on her. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of on board. She's so tired. <laughs> Hey y'all, happy Sunday. I am at the sanctuary and I got a new rope halter so everyone can stop yelling at me. That's correct. I'm hoping to spend a little time with my little senorita right there. You're probably not gonna see a lot of video of it, but regardless, we're gonna get this on her, see how it fits, see how she looks. And kind of go from there. Come on. Let's go. Well, they call me Senorita. There's all my babies. Good morning. Y'all want to come hang out with Mama? Rita's like, not if it means work. I'm not really up for any work. Well, hello, my little Rita. I have a look at that protein bowl. That sounds delicious. Oh, Buddha ran her off. Well, they call me Margarita. For everybody that says this, Jamie, I thought her name was Senorita. Well, it is Senorita. We call her Rita, and every once in a while I call her Margarita because she's a little bit spicy, like today. She could use some round pen work. What do you think about that? You think she's ready for some work? He's like, I like work. I know you love work. I know you love work. Your hair looks a little bit janky. You wanna take that out? We'll do that too, okay? I love you. I love you so much. Okay, you ready? Come on. Someone is a little sleepy to be out here working. She has decided that she would rather just hang out and let me brush and scrub and love on her. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm kind of on board. She's so tired. <laughs> You're a tired girl, Rita? Yeah. We made a couple laps. And then Rita came up to me and was like, <sighs> and I don't blame her one single bit. You sure look pretty in that new rope halter though. I'm gonna show everybody how fancy you look. Look at it. Look at how pretty you look. You're such a pretty girl. Let me see from here. Oh, there we go. That's probably my favorite angle right there. Not of me. Yep. I like that one. I also like that one. Put your ears up. Can you put your ears forward? Why are your ears back? You don't like it? You don't have a double chin. You're too young for a double chin. You look so pretty. I know. I know. You want to see it from the other side? Okay. How about that? Is that better? You like it from this side better? Look it. Blue, orange, green, purple, pink. All the colors, baby. She's like, listen, could I just have a nap, please? You can have a nap. Do you wanna take it off now? 
Or do you want to go for a little walk? No, oh, she's really tired. Like, I have I have come at a time where she's like, listen, I, I've been running a lot and playing a lot. And I just was hoping that we could just kind of hang out and snuggle. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Would you like some lunch? Does that sound good at all? Have a little snacky poo? She can barely keep her eyes open right now. And it's interesting to me because I think part of that relaxation, you're gonna think this is weird, is that we are in the round pen right now. And no one else, she doesn't have to protect herself from anything. Oh my God, she just looked over at Beverly when I said that. She doesn't have to protect herself from anyone. What's been happening with Beverly? Has she been telling you what to do? Oh boy. Be and then Bev's going to walk away at that moment. Is that what's been going on? I feel like there's been a little bit of drama happening here on the farm. But I do feel like that she just found a peaceful place here in the round pen. Now, she can't stay in here because there's no water in here. There's no, you know, there's no access to food in here. But she can stay in here with me for a while and get a little cat nap in. How funny. How funny. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So, Rita and I did just a smidge of lunging. It was not the amount of work that I really had hoped to do today. But... Well, Indy, watching her be so sleepy out here has me wondering, like, is this what she really needs instead today? And the only other horse that I know of that would fall asleep just like this with me rubbing him was Dixie. Maybe that's a mare thing. I don't know. Maybe it's just a beautiful day thing. A high of 70 today. Warm sun glistening over their mane. No sweat. Not cold. Just the perfect temperature. And maybe if I was rubbing on Voodoo and Bucky's, they would do the same thing for me right now. But for now, it's just me and Rita. Just me and Rita. You want me to take your halter off, baby? I know you feel pretty. I'm going to take off the lead rope. Or the lunge rope. How's that to start? I'm going to take this down too. I can do that. It sure does look beautiful up against her dark, her dark hair, though. <laughs> I got a little bit hung up on your, hung up on your ear over there. Does that feel better? Now you can nap appropriately. I mean, you probably could if there weren't turkeys gobbling and roosters crowing, huh? Mm. I love you, sweet girl. Thank you for letting me love you today. Let me hang out with you. It makes me feel good to see her so relaxed. I hope I'm not reading this situation wrong. I hope it's not that she's just bored and annoyed because I feel like she's just relaxed. Her eyes keep getting heavier. I did not bring a brush out with me. I didn't, I didn't anticipate that that was gonna happen until we got back into the barn. You can sleep, baby girl. It's okay. Rest all you need to.
doesn't hear dad yelling. It's okay. That's just part of farm life. I'm gonna put the camera away for a little bit and just love you okay. I was trying to capture you in your moment. But dad's gotta move hay. Dad's gotta put hay off everybody. Tomorrow we're gonna go get your special hay because you're all out. Yeah. I love you. I love you so much. And I hope you dream of delicious hay and bright green pastures. Special snacks and running free. And me. I hope you dream of me.